Good day, good day. Uh, Today's topic is stuck in the pain. I was having a conversation with someone and this came to my mind, stuck in the pain. And a lot of times um, we can't move forward when you're stuck in the pain because you keep reliving that painful experience in your mind. It just constantly plays back. It's like a movie and it just continue. It'll start, it'll it'll stop, and then it'll start back over, over and over again. Stuck in the pain. There are five levels of pain. Okay, if you if you didn't know, there are five levels of pain. There's the genetic pain. That's the pain that was handed down, and a lot of people call those generational curses. There's the grudge pain. That's the pain that we hold on to, and then there's the group pain. The pain that is, that is influenced by the group, and then there's the giant pain. The pain that transforms us. Um, into the bigger you, right? That's that giant pain, pain that transforms you. Then you have the growing pain, the pain needed for growth. And strongholds exist in your mind when they are made of of thoughts. Stronghold is a mindset you hold on to as you hold on to it mentally as facts. So a lot of times, the things that we're holding on to, this old pain, is strongholds. They're strongholds, and these strongholds prevent us from living a fulfilling life because all we can think about is what somebody has done to us. Pain can be a prison or a passport. The reason I'm here today because I use that pain as a lesson. That pain is a pain comes to teach you something. Pain comes to reveal something inside of you that you didn't even know was there. For me, it was a purpose. Pain produced purpose in my life. And a lot of times uh, people get stuck in the pain. All they talk about is the pain. All they know is the pain. They're just stuck in it. They keep living it over and over and over again. Like people, people grow older, but that does not, people age, but that does not mean that they grow. I heard something yesterday. People age, but that does not mean that they grow. This pain can have you stuck and stagnant. And it's like these painful seeds may have not been planted by you, but it's for sure your responsibility to pull those roots up and plant new seeds. Because in order to produce new fruit, you have to plant new seeds. So I began to pull those roots up, right? I began to get in contact with people that can help me um, unlearn these things, can help me process these things that I've been holding on to, can coach me, can counsel me through these things. And you can't change what happened, but you can change the way you look at it. So I was able to go back to that, that, that time, that period of time. And it's all, the majority of the time is going to come from childhood. Not all the time, but the majority of the incidences will come from child will stem from childhood. So you got to go back to that childhood. You got to revisit that pain. And a lot of times people don't want to revisit that. I mean, I, I, I remember I was talking to someone one time and I was asking them certain questions because I'm just trying to figure out why were they doing what they were doing? Like, what make you think this is right? Because it was immorally not right. And so it all stemmed back to childhood. And when I began to ask those questions about childhood, they did not want to go there. They did not want to talk about that. Until you go back to that place, you will continue to repeat those the cycle of dysfunction, the cycle of toxic relationships. Nothing is going to work until you, until you do your work. Nothing's going to work until you do your work. Because you're going to get to a place, and I'm telling you, it was me. I get, I only, I only could get so far, and I was like, why does I keep, why, why, why does this keep happening to me? Because I had not pulled those roots up. I had not done my work. You have to do your work. And it takes time to do that work. But I'm here. Nevertheless, I'm here to tell you that it's possible. It's possible to live a thriving life. It's possible to move past that that terrible thing that happened to you. It's possible. Because look at me. I am the evidence. I am standing on top of my story telling you, you are not what happened to you. You're not. You can't go back and change what happened to you, but you can for sure, nevertheless, you can for sure change the way you look at it. And I want to read today's devotion, which ties into all of this. And I'm going to let you go for the day. I just stopped by to share this. It was on my heart. So when I feel led, I just, I, I'm obedient. Okay, so today's devotion, and it, this devotion comes from, until today, Daily Devotions and Spiritual Growth by Ayala Vance.
So this is the daily devotion and today's the 28th, November 28th. The greatest service I can offer is, is being willing to live through the pain I experience. There are several ways to commit suicide. Some people actually do something to end their lives. Others take pieces of their lives and pieces of themselves and tuck them away. They, they live only a part of life which with only a part of themselves, allowing the other parts to die off. Still others live in a state of numbness. They shield and protect themselves from feeling anything, believing that they can that believing that they can avoid the onsite of pain. All of these people are the walking dead. They try their best to act alive. They are not alive because they have not yet discovered the blessing of pain. To experience, to experience mental or emotional pain is actually a gift of life. At the core of your pain is an answer, probably the very answer you've been seeking. We, we mistakenly believe that the path to, good, to a good life or, or to a better life is to eliminate pain. Suicide is not the only way out of pain. In fact, the most loving and alive, the most loving, alive and self-supporting thing we can do is to embrace our pain. Often this requires a skill that we have not been taught. It requires us to remain present in the midst of a painful experience. All forms of pain come to teach you, to strengthen you, to reveal some deeper understanding of your true identity. Moving through pain, you may find your purpose, your true purpose. Often pain comes into your life to wake, excuse me, often pain comes into your life to wake fully dead. Often, let me read this, like I'm, I'm reading the wrong line, excuse me. Often pain comes into your life to wake up the parts and pieces that of you that are numb. Those parts that are full, that are fearfully dead, doubtfully immobilized, you begin to pick up the pieces and parts that you tucked away. Staying present in the pain can often remind you that you really do want to live in a more loving and more honest, more fulfilling way. What a gift. What a blessing. Until today, you may have not been aware, excuse me, until the day you may have not been aware of the benefits of a painful experience. Just for today, open your heart to be present in your own pain. When it seems as if the pain or memory of the pain, excuse me, I run it back. When it seems as if the pain or the memory of the pain is more than you can handle, ask for it to present you with its gift. Today, I am devoted to remaining fully present and alive to my every thought and feeling. I want to read that last sentence again. When it seems as if the pain or the memory of the pain is more than you can handle, ask for it to present you with its gift. That pain gave me purpose. It, that pain was a gift that I didn't know. It was a, that pain was a gift wrapped in sandpaper. That's my story. That is my testimony. That pain was a gift wrapped in sandpaper that I didn't know I needed. So anytime I find myself experiencing a painful situation, a pa- I mean, I'm in a painful experience, I'm really like, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to get on the other side of this so I can see why I'm going through this. I can see what it's trying to teach me. What is this pain trying to show me? Lord, reveal what this pain is trying to show me, what it's trying to teach, what it's trying, what it's trying to teach me. Those painful experiences come to awaken something in you. And if it was not for, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, when I tell you, I'm when I tell you, if it was not for that painful experience, I would not be here. I would not be doing this. Mm, I felt that in my soul. That's what that's what the tears are. I felt that in my soul. I am appreciative of every experience, the good, the bad, the ugly, and indifferent. Because it made me who I am. And it's making me who I am. And it's making you who you are. I'm complete. I'm complete before they before the tears fall and I lose it. I'm gonna